Hey guys, I'm Trisha, and welcome back to 5th grade science with all STEM. This video will cover Earth systems, structures, and processes. Some of the things we will talk about today include changes in weather, predicting global events, as well as global weather patterns. As always, our videos are timestamped, so you can go ahead and skip through questions you get right or go back to questions you got wrong. Make sure to check out our links to further reference page, which will be linked in the description box below. <laughs> this page will have specific links based on every question that is explained in our video, allowing you to either find answers to more specific questions that you have or just learn more about the topic. Okay, let's get started with the first question. The picture to the right shows the flow of daily wind. What type of wind pattern is being shown? The answer is a sea breeze. A sea breeze happens when wind blows from a large body of water to land. In the picture, the arrows point from the cool water to the warm land. Okay, moving on to question number two. In North Carolina, the wind blows from the north. If the wind begins to blow from the south and changes direction, what will most likely happen to the weather? The temperature will increase. The wind from the south is hotter than the wind in North Carolina, so it will cause the temperature to increase. Okay, question number three. What is most responsible for the changes in season? The answer is the tilt of the Earth's axis. The tilt of the Earth's axis is always pointed in the same direction, so different parts of the Earth get sun rays throughout the year. For example, in the summer, the sun's rays get hit in a certain region more directly, and for longer than any other time of the year. Okay, question number four. Patricia observes the air pressure daily. Over the last couple of days, the air pressure has been increasing. What weather will Patricia most likely observe as a result? She will observe clearer skies and dry weather. When the air pressure rises, the air sinks from high in the atmosphere to the lower levels. This warms up the air and dries it out. Okay, question number five. Sam observes the air pressure just like Patricia. Over the last couple days, the air pressure has been decreasing. What weather will Sam most likely observe as a result? He will observe cloudier skies and possible stormy weather. When the air pressure drops, the air rises high in the atmosphere. When this happens, the air is free to cool, then condense, which causes more clouds to form. If it condenses enough, it can cause precipitation and storms. Moving on to question number six. Which of these weather instruments measure what? A thermometer measures temperature, a hydrometer measures the density of liquid, an anemometer measures the speed of wind or any other gas, a barometer measures air pressure, a rain gauge measures the amount of falling rain, and a wind vane measures the direction of wind. Okay, moving on to question number seven. What moderates the temperatures throughout the Atlantic? The answer is the Gulf Stream. The Gulf Stream is a warm water current that goes up the East Coast and across the Atlantic Ocean. It warms the coast during the winter months. Question number eight. What moderates the temperatures through the Pacific?
The answer is El Nino and La Nina. The water temperatures near the west coast of North and South America fluctuate due to El Nino and La Nina. El Nino warms the waters and La Nina cools the waters. Question number nine. Differences in air pressure... cause greater wind speeds. Gases like air move from high pressure areas to low pressure areas, and the bigger the difference between the pressures, the faster the air will move from the high to low pressure. I hope this video helped you learn more about Earth's system, structures, and processes. If this video was helpful, please remember to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.